Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss a very important application of Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, related to uh, inequalities, right? So in this uh, class we will learn uh, how to prove this important inequality uh, using the concept of Lagrange's mean value theorem, right? So here uh, we have to show that x raised to x is greater than e raised to x minus 1 uh, for all x greater than 1, right? So here uh, we'll first quickly see the uh, statement of Lagrange's mean value theorem. Although we have already discussed a lot about uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem in our earlier videos and uh, uh, related problems, but uh, here, especially for the benefit of uh, new viewers, uh, we'll uh, quickly see the uh, statement of Lagrange's mean value theorem. So let us start. So viewers, the statement of Lagrange's mean value theorem, it goes like this. Uh, suppose we have a function say y is equal to f of x, uh, which is defined in some interval say a comma b, right? And if this function uh, satisfies the, the two properties or two conditions, that is f of x is a continuous function in the interval that is a to b right so this function has to be a continuous function for all values of x uh, belonging to this closed interval a comma b and the second uh, condition which is very important uh, that is uh, this function f of x uh, has a derivative or it is differentiable Right? So this function f of x should, uh, should be differentiable, that is f prime of x exists for all x belonging to the uh, open interval a comma b. Right? So once this function y is equal to f of x satisfies these two uh, properties, then uh, we must have a point c. Uh, which lies between a and b uh, such that the derivative of this function f of x at this point that is x is equal to c that is f prime of c must be equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a right so we have to search for some number c uh, which lies between a and b such that the derivative of the function f of x at this point uh, should be equal to the quotient of uh, the difference of f of b f of a and b minus a right so using this statement uh, let us uh, uh, prove this inequality So viewers, so whenever we have to prove some inequality related to uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem or we want to uh, prove some inequality using Lagrange's mean value theorem, then the first step is to frame an appropriate function, right? The function is y is equal to f of x. So in this case, uh, what we will do, uh, we'll uh, take an appropriate function say f of x is equal to a log of x raised to x right so this is the function i will start with right and here uh, this log is a natural log it implies that uh, the base of the logarithm is e uh, that is the exponential number so here uh, we can also use the notation that is ln x raised to x but uh, we'll prefer this notation so now let us define a function f of x which is equal to log of x raised to x uh, which is x log x right using the uh, property of uh, log that is the power rule so we have x log x and we'll define this function in the interval of uh, 1 uh, comma x right where uh, this x is greater than 1 right 
so now we have this function so uh, let us first see whether our function it satisfies uh, these two uh, properties so now see here f of x is the product of two functions right so the first function is x which is a polynomial function right and uh, the second function is the uh, logarithmic uh, function right and uh, f of x is the product of x and log of x and uh, from the uh, elementary knowledge of uh, continuity of functions uh, we know that a polynomial function is uh, a continuous function right and similarly the log function is also continuous uh, provided that the appropriate domain is defined right so uh, polynomial function is continuous logarithmic function is continuous so the product of these two functions uh, must be continuous right so x times log of x is continuous in the interval uh, 1 comma x right okay so once the continuity of x log x is established let us come to the derivative so the derivative is f prime of x and here we have to apply the uh, product rule for differentiation so first function derivative of log x that is 1 over x plus log x the derivative of x so we have 1 right so x and x get cancelled so we are left with 1 plus a log of x right and uh, we know that uh, log of e is equal to 1 so we can write it as log of e plus log of x right so using the properties of log we have log of e x right because we know that log of m times n is log of m plus log of n right so we have f prime of x equal to uh, logarithm of e times x where e is the exponential number and we can clearly see that the derivative exists uh, for all values of uh, x uh, which uh, belongs to this interval that is 1 comma x So now we have established that the function is continuous and it is uh, differentiable or derivable in this interval, right? So we must have a point uh, between uh, 1 and x, right? So let us denote that point by uh, c. So c is greater than 1 and less than x, right? So there must exist some point c between 1 and x such that f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a so in this case a is 1 and b is equal to x right so we have f prime of c is equal to f of b b is x so f of x minus f of 1 divided by x minus 1 right so f prime of c can be obtained from this expression by replacing x by c so we have log of e times c right so here we'll write uh, x is equal to c so log of ec is equal to f of x f of x is x log x and uh, now uh, here we have f of 1 so f of 1 is equal to 0 because uh, if we take x is equal to 1 here we get 1 log 1 and log of 1 is 0 so this is equal to 0 right so here we have 0 and in the denominator we have x minus 1 so this is x log x divided by x minus 1 so now we have this expression log ec is equal to x log x divided by x minus 1 right so now we'll move further uh, with the help of uh, this expression right okay now uh, let us see uh, this inequality now see here we have uh, c 
uh, this number c is greater than 1 right so c is greater than 1 now here we have ec so let us multiply both sides by e so we have ec is greater than e and uh, obviously e is greater than 0 so ec is greater than e right now taking the natural log of both sides we have log of ec is greater than log of e right okay now log of ec can be replaced by uh, this expression so we have x log x divided by x minus 1 is greater than log of e log of e is equal to uh, 1 so now let us solve this inequality now see in the denominator we have x minus 1 and our x is uh, greater than 1 so x minus 1 should be greater than 0 right so there is no harm in multiplying this inequality both sides by x minus 1 so we'll get x log x greater than x minus 1 right okay so now uh, what we will do further uh, see here we have 1 so we can again replace uh, this 1 by log of e right so we have x log x greater than x minus uh, log of e so now uh, rearranging the terms here uh, we can take log of e to uh, the left hand side we have log of e greater than x minus x log x right so log of e is greater than x we can take x common so we have 1 minus log of x right and again this uh, 1 can be replaced by log e so we have here x log of e minus log of x right and log of e minus uh, log of x can be written as log e over x using the property of log that is log m over n is equal to log of m minus log of n so now here we have log of e here also we have log of e right okay so now uh, we can take this x to uh, this side or this uh, to the power of e over x by using this result that is log m raised to n is n log m right so again we can uh, rewrite this inequality as log of e greater than uh, log of e over x raised to x using this property right okay so now see we have log of e greater than log of e over x raised to x so let us take the exponential or let us raise these two terms to the power of e so we can now write e raised to log of e greater than e raised to log of e over x raised to x right so what we have done here we have raised uh, these two terms to the power of e right uh, see uh, if we have say d is greater than f so we have written it uh, like this that is the e raised to d greater than e raised to f so now let us uh, again use uh, another important result right see we know that e raised to a log of say k is equal to k uh, provided the base of this log is e and here uh, we are considering uh, right from the beginning that uh, uh, we are dealing with the natural log right so e raised to a log k is equal to k and here we have e raised to log e so now we have here e e is greater than uh, again here also will apply the same result so we have e, e over x raised to x right so now we can uh, write this inequality as e greater than e raised to x divided by x raised to x right 
and here uh, we can easily see that x is greater than 1 so this quantity is always a positive quantity right x raised to x is always a positive quantity so we can uh, write it like this or multiplying both sides by x raised to x so we have e times x raised to x is greater than e raised to x and now dividing both sides by uh, this number e we have x raised to x greater than e raised to x divided by e right and taking uh, this e to the uh, numerator we have x raised to x greater than e raised to x minus 1 right and which is the desired result so viewers this is how by making use of the concept of Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, we can uh, prove this important uh, inequality uh, for all values of x uh, greater than 1.